we were talking about um, the PLLCs a little bit. You want to explain? Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Actually, that, that little PLLCs. niche. Uh, mm-hmm. Some of the state regulators, like attorneys, the bar, perhaps, or the Arizona Department of Real Estate, they'll dictate how we can set up our liability companies. And for real estate agents and attorneys, there's specific ways, and those are called professional limited liability companies, which ha- are regulated by another state entity. So, now, are realtors, is this true, are they required to do a PLLC or do they have to have a, some sort of special LLC? Another great question. So if they're going to get paid into their LLC, it has to be a PLLC. So the Arizona Department of Real Estate has said, you're not allowed, Mr. Broker, who is the brokerage, you're not allowed to cut a check to an LLC. You're allowed to cut a check to a PLLC. And so ADRE, they have very specific instructions. And even in the articles of organization that we create for these PLLCs, they have to have certain language in them and they can only be used as a licensed real estate agent for those commissions. Yeah. So, I didn't realize that realtors had to do that. Yeah. If they want to get paid, they can't so, get paid until the personal name. But then again, that, that's some protection. They're not utilizing the LLC really. Yeah. You know, if they, well, yeah, exactly. And then if they're doing any significant volume of commission, we want to set them up as a tax as an S corporation, which you cannot do unless you have the PLLC set up. So yeah. there's some layers of importance that we've got to kind of address with our with our clients. And, and, and again, we just set them up correctly yeah. Yeah, from the get go.